morning today we are going to learn about note taking and note making the first one is note taking note taking is a cr- crucial skill that enhances your learning and retention of information it requires active engagement the second topic is purposes of note taking the first one is enhanced understanding taking notes help you process information more deeply leading to better understanding and retention second one is organization notes provide a structured overview of the material making it easy to review and study later the third one is memory aid writing down key points can help reinforce memory and recall the fourth one is active engagement note taking keeps you actively engaged in the learning process improving focus and comprehension and methods of note taking there are four methods of note taking the first one is outline method organize it organizes notes hierarchically with main topics at the top level and sub topic intended underneath use bullet points or number to denote the different levels of importance the second one is cornell method divide your paper into three sections a narrow column on the left of cues or question a wider column on the right for notes and a summary section at the bottom this method encourages active engagement and summarization third one is ma- mapping method create a visual map of information with main ideas in the center and branches of sub topics this method is useful for visual learners and for showing relationship between ideas and the final one is charting method use tables or chart to organize information comparing and contrasting different points this method is effective for organizing data or information with clear categories tips for effective note making the first one is stay active engage with the material by summarizing paraphrasing and asking question second one is be selective focus on the key point main idea then try to write everything and the third one is use abbreviation and symbols it develops your own shorthand to write foster and save space review and revise regularly review your notes and revise them for clarity and competences and the la- and the fifth one is combine text with visual use diagram charts or drawings to supplement your notes and aid in understanding sixth one is practice like any skill note taking improves with practice experiment with different method to find what works best for you and the second topic is note making it is also a important skill that involves synthesizing condensing and organizing information from various sources it focuses on capturing information during lectures of reading so the purpose of note making the first one is understanding and analysis note making helps you process information understand key concept and analyze analyze the material critically second one is retention summarizing and condensing information into notes can aid in memory retention and recall organization notes provide a structured overview of the material making it easier to review and study later reference well made notes serves as a reference for future use allowing you to quickly access key information methods of note making uh, like uh, note taking note making also have four methods the first one is linear notes this method involves writing notes in sequential paragraph style format it works well for summarizing text based information and can include headings of heading for organization and the second one is mind mapping mind map or visual representation of information within a central idea at the center and branches for related concept this method is effective for showing a relationship between ideas and can be useful for brainstorming and organizing thoughts third one is concept mapping similar to mind mapping concept mapping involves creating a visual representation of ideas but with the focus on showing hierarchical relationship between the concept and the fourth one is charting use tables or chart to organize information into the categories or compare and contrast different points this method is effective for organizing data and information with clear categories and there are some tips for effective note making understand the material before making notes ensure you have good understanding of that material be selective focus on capturing key idea main point and support you details avoid including irrelevant or trivial information use your own words paraphrase information rather than copying it 
This helps with understanding and retention. Organize effectively. Use heading, subheading, bulletin points to organize your notes logically. Review and revise. Regular review and revise. Up. for clarity and competency use visual aids incorporate visual elements such as diagram chart or illustration to enhance your understanding and retention and there are five difference between note taking and note making and the conclusion the both skills are valuable skills that hand that can enhance your learning and comprehension by using effective methods and techniques you can create organized meaningful notes that aid in your understanding and retention of information thank you